So guys, January 2021 is already over, which means it's time to share with you my most worn and loved fragrances of that month. But I personally would also love to hear about yours, so please comment down below your monthly favorites, and if you want to find out about mine, well then please keep on watching, but also don't forget to like, share and subscribe. But you probably already know that, right? Let's get started! So welcome, welcome, welcome everyone to the first monthly favorites of this year and I love filming these videos. Let me know if you like watching them. If so, show me that by giving this video a thumbs up. And so I'm getting started with my list and the first one on it is perfume called, oh, this way, Doe in the Snow by 4160 Tuesdays, which was actually a blind buy of mine because I was really, really curious about its scent because, you know, in January I was inspired to film a video about note of snow in the perfumes that I actually shot in the snow. So in case you missed that and you're wondering how this imaginary note is interpreted by perfumers, check out that video. The link is going to be on the screen and down below in the description box for you. But in this particular fragrance from snow, we only have the name because it doesn't really smell that snowy. Instead, it's a beautiful citrusy composition and it reminds me of juicy citrus fruity cocktail that someone forgot in the fridge and so it is so frozen that inside ice is floating and you know there is this frosty layer on juicy citruses. In there is grapefruit, citron and yuzu with some peach and aldehydes and that company is really sparkling and fresh. It's a cool citrus with some floral elements, woodsy notes, moss and even more interestingly tea. So wow, it is really uplifting. It is a happy citrus on the cool side. And, you know, because of that um, frosted layer on those citruses, I find it is very appropriate even for colder weather, although citrusy perfumes are usually worn in the warmer time. But, you know, I personally really enjoyed it in the morning. That's why I applied it often before work, because it has just something to it. Maybe that is the ripe and tart texture that... Um, it's very very special and another cool thing is that it is surprisingly long-lasting because usually citrusy perfumes are light and they disappear quicker than other fragrances but this one tend to last pretty long on me and its sillage is phenomenal so probably that is amazing balance of not only citrusy but also mossy and woodsy notes and uh, it is one of the best citrusy perfumes probably because it is addictive and so I was absolutely smitten with it during the month and because of that cool, you know, character, I thought it's amazing for winter too. So apparently citrusy perfumes can be worn all year around and not only in the summer as I thought. With that being said though, I personally prefer warmer kind of scents when it is cold because they are cocooning and one of those that is probably one of my most, most worn fragrances of January is Dolce Amalfi by Sergio that I have only in the decant, but oh my god, I love it so much that I wish I had a full bottle of this magic juice. But you know, decanting fragrances is an awesome way to test perfumes before committing uh, in a full size. So from this company, Uniqlo, you can actually order decants of different niche perfumes and for your first subscription I actually have a discount code which you'll find down below in the description box as well as link to their official website so make sure to check that out but let's get back to our amazing Dolce mm, Amalfi which is unlike all other fragrances that were inspired by this amazing Italian city is not this light citrusy cologne instead it is 
full-on oriental spicy warm delicious gourmand with a very extravagant exotic opening in the which we have note of kins and green apple and you know there are some spices like cardamom and saffron so you know it's very intriguing it's very exciting it makes you kind of like mmm I want to taste it you know your mouth water and later it goes into vanilla direction and on the way eh, there are some really beautifully warm and wintry spicy notes of cloves so that combination of vanilla and cloves reminds me of my beloved Louis by Guerlain but instead of pear we have kins so it's like kins jam and it is very you know cocooning and comforting beautiful fragrance even Benny loved it on me so that is like the biggest compliment to it and it is great for this cold weather because it really makes you feel really good and I've been wearing it uh, you know during the month I always enjoyed it because it made me feel warm because I hate you know cold everything I really wish it was summer all year long so yeah it's amazing fragrance that is a little bubblegummy too I don't know it's just very very gorgeous and I love it definitely recommend everyone who is looking for a wintry gourmand and next I have a, a very different kind of fragrance Today we are going from one extreme to another. It is called Tiamo Iris and I do love Iris too. And it is by Italian perfumer Hilde Soliani. Now guys, despite black pepper and ivy, it is all about mimosa to me, although there is even no mimosa in the notes. Instead, there is iris, oris root, there is jasmine and almond. But because of that almond, I really get mimosa fluffy and powdery. If you know me, I personally really love powdery perfumes and this one smells makeup-y and, you know, kind of like cream products and if you're looking for fragrance like that, it's it. Uh, I personally really enjoyed it in the morning and during the daytime, but I can totally see someone wearing it after the shower because it's like putting your cream on you. So, very powdery, very beautiful but once again let's move on to something completely different and this is one of my biggest and most favorite discoveries of January Monopteras by the German brand Der Duft now guys I've already reviewed it in a separate video wow this is an intense fragrance with a very sharp spicy opening where is cardamom black pepper nutmeg and um, cucumber so very very interesting notes but at the same time you know there is aldehydic rose which reminds me of a garage of some mechaniker who is also a perfume addict he loves fragrances but you know he works with um dirt so basically in his um working overall he wears freshly cut rose from the garden so all the time he can smell something pleasant not only the machine oil so very strong very unusual kind of fragrance and despite that um, i received some compliments for it which was really nice i like when unique fragrances get attention so with that being said that it was monopteras cool cold sparkling a sharp perfume that was really amazing in a cold weather so I've been wearing it out and next is another favorite uh, perfume of the month and it is called Mr. Magnolia so this is literally what I love in perfumes this powdery floral see that is not too heavy and actually it's like floral dance it's like a jazzy perfume very happy very emotional uh, quite abstract with uh, some light sweetness to it and uh, yes that's just me in a bottle so I've been wearing it probably uh, the most along with Monopteris and it is just stunning but something else I've been wearing least out of all these but I just wanted to update you about uh, El Secreto de la Alcazaba basically uh, this is a fragrance that is from the same collection as Mr. Magnolia 
that was designed specifically for Pedro, who is the owner of this niche perfume boutique Aquasion Natural, where you can shop indie fragrances with my discount to save some money. And um, Mr. Magnolia was created by Hans Georg and El Secreto de la Alcazaba, which was inspired by Arabic Spain by Paul Kyler from Piquet Perfumes. And first time I smelled it, actually it was in the unboxing on Instagram, so if you don't want to miss my unboxing videos, check me out on social media. I thought it's just spicy and smoky, but my mom told me it smells like urine, like pee. And you know what I decided to do one day? I sprayed myself with a bunch of different fragrances and applied this just lightly on myself, not really like that, but I just sprayed it above my head and I decided what will um, end up on my hair. That's it. And you know what? As Benny entered my car, he was like, it smells so strange in here. And I was like, like urine, pee, and he was like, Yes, so here we go. If you like any Malik P like fragrances, you will enjoy this spicy smoke. And on that note, that was all from me today. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Let me know which of these fragrances sounded interesting to you, what were your most favorite perfumes of January, and uh, please give this one thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned for February's uploads, because they are going to be a lot of fun, and not to miss them, of course, ring the bell. And that was all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to stay tuned and smell good. We'll see each other in the next one. Bye, guys.